Hey guys, it's AK the Skeleton Lord, and today we're going to be playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, it's been two weeks since my last Let's Play. I am so sorry, but I've been working on my game the entire time. <sighs> and Dead Rising out, so, you know. Well, I, technically it's been a week, because that Dead Rising with no commentary was kind of a Let's Play, because it originally had commentary on the 50 minute video, but it didn't upload. Oh, here's Star Wars. Wake this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. The Force fights with me. Get on those gun turrets. Okay, so I highly recommend this game. This game is awesome. Uh, it's If you get the Platinum Hits version, I know you can play it on your 360, but it was originally for the Xbox original. So, I just found it at like a really old game store. Let's see. Oh, that's... Okay. Brightness setting, let's check. No, that, that that's good enough. It's good that's good enough, uh Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And we'll do normal. <laughs> it's, it's, I didn't know there was an easy mode. But I can't do that to you guys. Oh, crap. I kind of like to be able to move. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with it now. New game. Never seen anyone do the moving while in combat, though, so that'll be new. Let's see. Uh, I'm probably a soldier. A <laughs> uh, custom character. Uh, Well, I'm either going to pick you. Uh, you'll see him in a sec because the audio is off. I'm either going to pick this guy with the mustache here or the guy that um, I was playing as when I first started this game out, which is him. Uh, let's go back to the classics. Um. <laughs> Charisma. Let's put a little bit in that. Perfect. I'm brilliant.
Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't have to buy that. Um, this one. Hmm. Let's go with the, uh, uh, best name we could possibly go for with a character. Let's see. I've got it. Oh wait, no, we can't do it that. Can't do it like that. Let's see. Perfect. Tableface Jr. <laughs> if you didn't know, Tableface is my channel mascot. So, let's go with this, and we're going to start the game and everything. I'm going to press the button in about two seconds when I shut up. Ready? Let's go. Play. Let's try to make this as stupid as possible, because, you know... I haven't done a lot of Let's Plays recently, so let's make this go on for like 10 hours. Well, until my... For a little while, anyway. Still doesn't shut up for another 10 seconds. Whoa, it's a ship I just saw. Explosions. Fire. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Uh. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. You were opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastila is going to need men and women like us um, on her side during this attack. Bastila. So hurry up and grab your gear. You okay. need to suit up exactly. so we can get out of here. Perfect. Let's go. I don't need anything to go. Let's go. I'm going to go in circles. Okay, let's equip some stuff.
Oh, and don't get on to me okay, for using like a sword or something because again. I'm better without. Uh, well, actually, I don't know because this is a video game. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Oh, that's the pause button. Yeah, okay. I'm using this on the 360, so it doesn't. Switching back to table face. Now that the door is open. Oh, I'm sorry, the audio is off. Oh. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. Colonel, just in case we get separated. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. Whoa. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. One of the best MMOs ever. Or, uh, uh, not MMOs, but it's not. A got a feeling. Uh, what would you call it? It's a... Well, it's not a, it's not a mass online thing, but it's... An, it's an RPG. Well, not the, not the gun type, so... Sword and a short sword, which is really digging me out. Oh, this battle is horribly inside. For both sides. highly recommend this game as it is still like the best Star Wars game ever made in my opinion anyway but you might know if you're actually watching so I'll let you to it and it's kind of open world like you can go wherever you want like I used to uh, be really boring and just explore Tatooine the entire time you know just walk around there because I like Tatooine. Let's just, just not lie about that. Tatooine's just awesome. You know? Sorry my voice is so dry today. I just woke up. Here, let me do a stupid voice for you really quick. Sorry to headphone users. It's Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. You better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Nothing like a good Jedi fight to get you awake in the morning. 
I play this game a lot, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm not good at doing this game, so. We'll see what happens. I might have to restart before, you know, I might have to make a decision and then restart it to get the right decision, because I'm gonna be like a Jedi or something. I don't want to be a Sith. Being a Sith kind of... It's not not my... Uh, not what I want to be. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so boring today. I'm supposed to be... supposed to be acting like an idiot. Oh crap, 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 crap. crap. Med pack yourself, buddy. Med pack yourself, buddy, boo. There's a cheat you can do on here that, uh, make, like, instant level up. Like, whenever you get a level up, you can, like, do this cheat thing. But, you know, let's not do that today, because... Let's just be honest, it gets rid of a lot of the gameplay value. For me, anyway. Not not for my family, because they like to play with the cheat on here. Sometimes, not all the time. Okay. So, let's level up really quick. This is a difficult one right here. Let's see. Yeah. Um. No, I don't care about. Uh, yeah, let's do demolitions because. Or can I do computer use? No. Yeah, let's just do demolitions because why not? Um, ah, uh, um, um, let's see. Ow! I just knocked off my headphones. Ow. Okay, let's see. Let's choose a skill. Um... Let's go with this one because, let's just be honest, why not? You're going to see a lot of different save games, so if I screw something up, you know, you can always go back. No trash, don't do it. Something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pod. Why'd you open the door? There's no reason to open the door and get yourself killed. No reason at all. Twask. Twask. Twask has bought you some time you need to escape. You should make your way to the starboard section of the ship. 
But Twask, I need Twask. I'm an idiot, I need Twask. Is that the right way? Of course it is, so let's just go here. Twask has bought us some time, so we gotta go where Twask's work's gonna be for nothing. Okay. I'm more awake now, so I'm sounding more and more like an idiot. Sounds about right. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Bastila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to okay, get Okay, so to we the gotta go pod. ahead. Oh, okay. Uh uh Flurry. Let's just use that because let's be honest, that's the only thing I actually know how to use. So. Crap beat out of me right now. Okay, what what's better? Okay, cool. We'll use this one there. Oh good. That was what was almost killing me, so looks like everything's good now. Credits twenty six, yay, money. That one thing that I don't need. Move! What? What's going on here? It's the ultimate staring contest! Ah, screw you. <laughs> I killed myself with a grenade. I don't know, but I think I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's try that again, because we, uh, we completely failed that. With all of our hearts, so. Well, I failed that, not you guys. I can't believe I blamed you. I'm sorry. Ugh! Pain is unbearable! No, I Sorry, much okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let's just be honest, you know. Let's use this one. Why do I keep saying that? That's stupid. I sound like an idiot. Attack the crap out of this guy. Okay, we're not going to throw the grenade like an idiot. We're instead going to equip the blaster rifle. Yeah. Be careful. Doing good now. Troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Okay. So this is where you have to make a decision. What do you want to sell more? Computer spikes or parts? Um... 
Let's see, what do I use less? Now nah, that's a lot of computer spikes. We're gonna use the parts. Cause let's be honest, this is a droid here, man. Droid, reactivate the droid. Okay, we did it, and the droid is fine, and yeah, I'll consider that a success. can't talk, I, it's a success, I can't talk though, so yeah, see what new weapon I got from that amazing Viro Blade, it's supposed to be nice, it's a prototype too, so you know. Never go wrong with that. I'll save. Because I love saving on everything, so. Let's just be honest here. Hey, Karth. Oh, sorry, you guys aren't seeing me. Yet. Just here we go. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Empire Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. <sighs> this is such a difficult decision. Do we save ourselves, or do we just sit here like an idiot for two and a half minutes? Let's sit here for like an idiot. Okay, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple I'm not going to skip any audio in this game, okay? Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were all gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need you. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a lot crew. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. 
That smacked your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. There we go. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation there. They said the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Okay, so he said if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. That's going to be a problem because that is literally probably what I'm going to do. Probably. That looks awesome out there, man. Star Wars is awesome. Well, it's been 34 minutes, it looks like, so I'm going to end this video off here and upload it and continue on the series. But while this is uploading, I'm going to go watch anime because... Because why not? Why the hell not? So let's do it. Um, uh, see you guys later. Uh, peace out.